We're very excited. Listen, we've had a hip hop legend in the house. Now we have a Broadway superstar. Our next guest yes. has been called an agent of change. Actor Alex Newell made Broadway history in June when they became the first out non-binary performer to win a Tony Award. Drop the, drop the microphone. Newell plays Lulu, a fierce corn whiskey dis distiller in the new musical. It's called Shucked. I just like saying the title, Shucked. Yes. It's about the residents of fictional Cobb County who are trying to solve the mystery of their dying corn. So along the way, they find something much larger, community. In this preview, Newell sings the powerhouse ballad independently owned. Here's a look. There might be someone that I ain't met yet. And no disrespect to Miss Tammy Wynette. I can't stand by my man. He'll have to stand by me. independently owned and modulated. And every man that I meet is just as talented. I will change who I always been. A double you. Oh, boy, Alex Newell joins us in studio. Listen, that piece is a showstopper it is. every single night. It is. It, is. It, is. It, is. Goes, it is. Thank you very much. What's it like for you? Crazy. Crazy? <laughs> it is. It's strange. You know, you pour yourself. I always say this. You pour yourself into your art, and you pour yourself into your role and whatever you're taking on to. And I came into this process 10 years into it, uh -huh. and I poured myself because the material itself is so brilliant. Mm. Yes. And to have people just just feel joy for two hours and 15 minutes every night is brilliant. Also, I love the corn everywhere. I know, isn't yes. it nice? Oh, we got to cover it. It's gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thank I mean, you, but, thank but you. this play is so fun. Listen, when I went to see it, I said, I'm going to leave before. <laughs> I'm not going to hang around. Just stick but, around for a little bit. But by the time it was over, Nate, I said, I wanted to meet everybody in the cast. <laughs> everybody. It's a You in particular, because, number one, you think, how could a play about corn be so entertaining, so funny, so clever? And it is. It is, Alex. It is. It's. I, I'm very lucky that it's a show that is at most just about heart. Yes, and yes, our heart yes. is our corn, yeah, yeah, allegedly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so that if that's our way to show community in love by corn, I'm with for it. Uh huh. You're yeah, really connected with your character, mm -hmm. Lulu. Tell yeah. us about her. You know, she is. Uh, quick, she is independent, she is affirmative in her own life and affirms other people's lives. And I learned so much from playing this strong person in my own life. And I apply those lessons of like, I've built this wonderful career of my own and it's okay to need someone else at the same time and look at the fruits of your labor. LL Cool J was just here, as you know, mm -hmm. and he was talking about there's no such thing as a deadline to your dreams. No. I'm wondering what your dreams were, because <laughs> you go from an ensemble player, but now the minute you come out on stage, people just go nuts yep. yeah. before you even open your mouth. To a yeah. standout amongst yes. standouts. Yes, yes, yes. Very good point. Yeah. What is this journey? Has it been a journey? Maybe it hasn't been a journey it's, for you. It's always a journey, because you never know what it's going to be like until you have your third character, the audience, in a musical. Yeah. If the jokes don't land, if the notes aren't good if they don't believe you that is it so this journey of finding this lightning but what was your dream growing up? my what dream was to be, be on broadway i wanted to be nell carter i wanted to be nell carter i wanted to be jennifer holiday uh -huh. i wanted to have my my little statue knew that. i knew oh, that yeah. before i did anything else in my career uh -huh. this was my first vision. love yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah speaking of having your statue your tony acceptance speech in june was emotional it was heartfelt and it was also history making i, I want us to take a look let's check it out I should not be up here as a queer, non-binary, fat, black, little baby from Massachusetts. <laughs> and to anyone that thinks that they can't do it, I'm going to look you dead in your face that you can do anything you put your mind to. So, so that was emotional. I want to ask what that moment meant to you, but you know, you had some self descriptions in there and that could have been things that you yeah. recalled. Um, but I also would like to ask, how would you like to be seen? Oh, I, just to be seen. Hmm. You know, I think in our climate right now, we're trying to erase things that we don't understand. We're trying or to dis make people uncomfortable, uncomfortable yes. or that they just don't get. And it's not for you to get, just see me and respect me as mm. the human that I am on this earth. Um, you know, 
I was told that I was too fat to play roles on Broadway. I was told that I was too sassy, I was too black, I was too much, I was too loud. And to be on that stage and win one of the highest awards in theater was life affirming, mm -hmm. like life affirming. It told me that I had space in this space. Mm -hmm. And I, if that is a glimpse that someone like me in a smaller town like Cobb County can look upon that on the YouTube later yeah. and feel that they see themselves represented and that they can do anything they put their mind to, I'm all for it. Seems like all those things mm -hmm. that you were too much for yes. ended up creating. Yes. have worked out in your it, favor. It worked out, honey. Yeah. Now my wigs are big and my dresses are too. Uh -huh. <laughs> now you're a role model for so oh. many. What does that mean to you? I, I never like saying role model because it, it starts to make it feel stagnant and yeah. disgenuous. I want to be an example and a beacon more there than anything know. just because I make mistakes. I'm not going to get it right all the time. I'm not going to want to get it right all the time. And I want everybody to know that there is beauty in your errors, beauty in your flaws, and you can be on the other side of any struggle that you have. Amen. Well said. And we, and we have wow. to say, yesterday, they were moving. <laughs> Yesterday, <laughs> when, yeah, she's, she said you were moving yesterday. I, I literally, like, I'm living in a new apartment. apartment. There's boxes everywhere. I haven't unpacked my kitchen at all. I'll get to it, I promise. And then oh. you come in looking flawless. Oh, oh you're moving. Oh, so yeah. That, that no, means the money apartment. is good, huh? Yeah. Okay, Alex. Yes, hi. All right, moving on up is yeah, what they no, call I that. I moved down, huh? <laughs> downtown. I like that, Nate. The, the money is good. <laughs> Alex Newell, we are oh, cheering you on. Shucked, you. run, don't walk to see this play if you get the chance. Currently playing at the Nederlander Theater right here in good old Nederlander Theater right here in New York City.